I hope so. Um, that and was uh, <laughs> that was bad. What? I thought it was another band. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, you've learned something new. Congratulations. That was Bang from Town. No, it's not. Needless to say, we're Celtic Brain, and uh, we're going to do a song called Celtic Brain. So, uh, Samuel, tell us about the song. All right. Um, yeah, actually, I, I, I sort of accidentally wrote a song that was semi. Mythologically, mythologically accurate. So, um, so uh, I wrote I wrote the song Celtic Rain. I had a, an idea kind of in my head, probably from the many many Arthurian stories that I have read in my life um, about a, uh, a a woman who was a, a huntress who goes out and she's uh, sort of um, hunt, hunting that uh, the the arch, arch, archetypal uh, stag, the white stag. You know, that, that, so many legends about, and um, she follows it, and then it kind of leads her on. She follows it into the mist, and she comes out, and she's like in a different world, completely unknown to herself. And um, well, uh, one one thing leads to another, and she sort of takes on the mantle of this very very important figure in uh, Arthurian uh, legend uh, called the Lady of the Lake. So this is one of the stories in Midian. Well, you do this accidentally. Thank you. 
I, there's a true belief. <laughs> um, there's, there's, a, there's a thing about us as, as, a, as a people, and we, we tend to just go through life and don't realize that we stand on the shoulders of those who come before us. Um, and, and when we start recognizing that, we start seeing the power of what, of who we are and, and what we are. And, and that is how we can, I told you, I, I most of the time write deep stuff. This is my deep stuff, okay. <laughs> this is, uh, we realize that we can also be those shoulders that others can stand on. So that the next generation can look at us and say, they did it, therefore I can, right? And so I started thinking uh, my, my, during, during lockdown in uh, like 2021, 22-ish uh, area, uh, my grandmother passed away, and she was my the last, you know, the last grandmother. And you're like, okay, interesting. And started thinking about my grandmothers and the women that came before me, um, and started thinking about the power that they had. Even though, even though society told them they had to be specific things, they were so powerful. The grandmother that passed away, she raised four boys. That right there is power. <laughs> And then they went on to do things and have children and raise their kids to be powerful. Um, even in the midst of, of the craziness of life. And so uh, I 